the whole thing wobbing. So season six is here. I'm going to run over with you guys what you need to be doing first in season six and also talk about what kind of happened last night because there seems to be an issue that happened with the GT opportunity packs. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Angel Torres for being a part of the Nobody Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn notification on and comment down below. Nobody Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, right now we have the NBA play-in and the playoffs currently going on. So if you guys want to check it out, you can use code ZERK to double your first deposit up to $100. New users, we get this Jimmy Buckets 0.5 point special for today. Follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks. And if you guys sign up using code ZERK, as you guys saw with UFC 300, you will get some exclusive code ZERK only specials, which we did hit on my Gaethje specials. So shout out to you guys that copy. All right, so starting off, guys, let's talk about what happened last night with the Golden Ticket Opportunity Packs. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what exactly happened last night with GT Opportunity Packs, you know, what exactly is it? Well, for those of you guys that don't know, essentially what it is is there are going to be multiple releases of this. So if you missed out last night, don't feel like you completely missed out. Uh, I will tell you, I don't know when the next release is, which is very weird because I'll be honest, you guys, normally before even we get a first opportunity pack, EA kind of tells us the schedule of them, you know, how many golden tickets there are going to be, everything about it. They have it. So I don't really know what's going on with that. What we do know is that there will be more opportunities, but the issue that happened last night is for those of you guys that got the opportunity pack, you log in, you open that up, and it gave you 10 chances, right? And you could either get coins or you got to get a golden ticket. Now, I am not honestly sure how many golden tickets were pulled last night i will let you guys know as well that normally when it comes to golden tickets we tend to see maybe 20 30 golden tickets potentially pulled uh, it really depends on how many ea wants to make right uh, because every single player that pulls a gt they're gonna get to go ahead and choose one player to make it to a 99 overall then there's gotta be boost all of that if you guys manage to pull a golden ticket and you want help reach out to me but here's the thing i will let you know this okay and again I understand that not everybody is on social media. Yes, I absolutely understand that. What I also know is that year in and year out, the community as a whole pretty much becomes aware of 85 to maybe over 90% of golden tickets before EA actually tells us who they're going to be. Before EA actually drops the golden tickets in the game, they will tell us, hey, here's all the players coming. We usually know of about like 90% of them because that's how many people are actually on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, whatever, reaching out to whoever, uh, just tweeting out, reaching out to content creators to get help. And then you know, we make videos. I think last year alone, I helped with like 12, golden tickets myself that I uh, revealed to you guys there. I will let you know, I saw one golden ticket pull. So I don't know how many of these got pulled, but I literally only saw one person on Twitter yesterday with a golden ticket pull. Obviously, I know that means there were more than that, right? Uh, there wasn't just one GT pull, but it, it just seems very, very odd to me because again, normally, even if it's like the first release, right? We see multiple on social media. And again, I know not everyone's on there, but it just seems weird. I don't know how many got pulled last night and how many more opportunities we're going to have. But the issue is a lot of people were not able to get in and actually open up their packs because the servers were down. Uh, I think mostly for Xbox users, which, yeah, they haven't said anything about it. I don't know if there's going to be any sort of make rights, whatever, but definitely, definitely not great there. We'll just wait for part two. All right, so as you guys can see, season six is now live right now. I do want to check on one thing, and that would be the real deals pass, because I said, I'm curious to see if they change it to coins. They did. They did change it to coins. So for those of you guys that did go ahead and maybe save these slots right here, hoping it would still be 30k XP, whatever, yeah, they changed it to coins. Like I said, they might do there. But season six uh, is live now. We have the new competitive pass, uh, as you guys can see as well. That is going to be coming on... I thought it was this Friday. Is it not? This Friday says it ends in eight days here. Okay. Could have sworn it was going to be this Friday. It's going to be next Friday. But season six is now live. As you guys can see right here, we have all of the rewards, the season six set tokens, the rare option packs, these 97 overall BND player tokens. Now, this is something really crucial I do have to tell you guys about these player tokens here is it's a lot different this season than previous seasons. Before, it might have been like Drew Brees here and then Bobby Wagner and Lane Johnson and Harris Smith, you know, as we go. It's not that way this season. 
you can actually choose what player you want to go with first and then once you actually get up here to the upgrade tokens where are the uh, upgrade tokens right here that's another set token upgrade token so level 26 you get the first upgrade token so essentially you can go through and select which players you want as 97s first then you can upgrade one of them to 99 with that upgrade token i uh, get another one right here at level third no that's uh, another 97 overall bnd another one here at 36 uh, you also get another one at, where is it at right here? The level 46. So as you guys can see though, you only in total get three at 99. I did notice this yesterday. You're only able to get three up to 99, which I think you know which three you should go with. But I will let you guys know, I'll make a video here uh, going over, in my opinion, the best ones to choose first. In terms of what to do first here, guys, when it comes to season six, there is a bit of a difference as well when it comes to the daily objectives. You guys will notice there is nothing here when it comes to, you know, doing the daily milestones. That's no longer a thing. What they did was they just went ahead and kept the boosted odds here, or the boosted XP here on these. So as you guys can see, if you buy a pack right here, uh, you do get seven. 1750 season xp this one you do get 3000 season xp and this one you get 4500 season xp so 4500 3000 that one says 1500 and that also says 1700 it's it's 1500 so 1500 3000 4500 always make sure you guys go through and you are doing your daily objectives those are obviously going to be very very crucial for leveling up and also make sure you guys get these done there's only three milestones here really not that hard to do and of course you want to get this done immediately if you guys do happen to have your season six collectible from the season five field pass come on into sets and exchange that right here you guys can see that i do have mine we get 20 thousand xp right off the bat so that's going to push us almost to level three and then with the daily objectives today and everything else uh we should definitely be at least at level three now i know there's not going to be a lot of xp that we can actually go ahead and earn here to start off season six which is very very normal that's always really the case but we do have more promos that can be dropping this thursday with the nfl draft so with the nfl draft promo that's kind of like the first day where we'll be able to go ahead and get a ton of xp now also guys in terms of the level offers you get these as you level up you see right here at level five uh there is a 380 plus overall platinum player pack we have two ak cruise packs here ring of honor fantasy pack four star elites for a thousand points that's pretty solid 395 plus sugar rush players uh 382 or 86 platinums for 15 bucks that can be pretty good weekly wild cards premium pack and then finally the last one here guys at level 50 is a golden platinum pack for 1050 points i know you can't see the points here my face cam's in the way 1050 points to this golden platinum pack uh, for those of you guys that don't know the offer is amazing okay golden platinums uh, and platinum packs in general i like platinum packs but golden platinum pack is like the best special offer we have ever had I don't remember exactly what's in it. I just remember that it's like an 82 or an 86 platinum, I want to say. And then it was something overall or an ltd while they're in packs but it was insane so many ltds were flying out of it uh, and obviously for 10 bucks there getting the platinum alone almost kind of makes the offer worth it off the jump that being said guys that is everything with season six if you're also curious about like a pack odds increase whatever with season six that normally doesn't happen right here but i would expect that to potentially be this upcoming thursday with the nfl draft promo that is when i'll probably go ahead and do my big pack opening with all of my uh, star elites and everything else that i'm kind of holding on to from doing those mystery packs but that is everything with season six make sure you guys go through do that set right there work on the milestones and there's not really a whole lot to do to kind of start off the season as i said thursday is kind of when things will kick up which is tomorrow right things kind of kick up tomorrow but we can actually go ahead there and uh start working on a new field pass competitive pass i, I could have sworn competitive pass was refreshing tomorrow or on friday i mean but uh Apparently, my, my dates are off, and there's another week there. Super strange to me. I, I, I'm not exactly sure what uh, I was thinking there. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. Make sure you guys check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks. And I will catch you guys later this afternoon. We have weekly wild cards dropping at 130. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.